What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Insert Anime. My name is Brandon. In the middle, we got Rob. And on the far side, we got Josh. What's up? What's up? Today, we're going to talk about the top five don't want to miss anime shows for the spring 20 season. Yes, sir. Yep. These are just the five that we thought were just the best that you don't want to miss out on, that you want to immediately watch, talk to your friends about, don't want to be that guy that like you know missed out a month later and you're four episodes behind feeling salty. Uh, so we're going to make this uh, quick, easy peasy. Let's get to, to it. Uh, Tower God. Have you seen it? Do you love mm -hmm. it? It's it's mm -hmm. awesome. I love it. Uh, two episodes out so far. It is really good. Uh, animation's amazing. The story's amazing. The fight scenes are really well choreographed. I, I don't have a complaint about it. Yeah, yeah I'll it's awesome. agree with all those things. Yeah, uh, I, I love it. It did just recently get announced that it's going to be 13 episodes. Um, a lot of manga fans are nervous about that. Because they read it, and apparently it's there's a lot of content. So I did not read the manga. So just as an anime perspective, I feel like I that's it. a common like thing that manga people have a problem with. Yeah, like not being long enough. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's a that and like story changes. I feel like are the common uh, issues manga people have. I like it a lot so far. Um, I I'd honestly say I liked. Uh, no, I wouldn't say I like the second episode better than the first episode. I would say it drew me into the story more. I agree. Um, and gave me like more hope for the uh, that I can stick through like the length of the series. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, they, they it's definitely still cookie cutter story based. Like, hey, we got to get through this tower. No spoilers there. It's in the name. Um, but it was just really well done, really well animated. Again, fight scenes were mm -hmm. crazy. Don't miss out on it. Watch it right now two episodes are out i believe it comes out in america on tuesdays like to watch i think it comes out well no it's a Crunchyroll exclusive i lied so it just comes out for everybody right away right. there's no crazy time yeah. frame so right. just it, are they doing simulcast yeah are yeah they, it's Crunchyroll, yeah. so it just comes out every tuesday i'm pretty sure well, i didn't know like if they're doing sub and dub because i don't watch it on. that's a good point i don't know i didn't know i don't uh, i don't think it's dubbed yet I don't think so Unless either. Tripping. Funimation's yeah, the only tripping. real studio that goes hard with the English Funimation immediately. immediately yeah. Like the day, like at two hours after. Yeah. I, I do think it's interesting, and I don't want to go too heavy into this because we want to get through the list really quickly, but I do think it's interesting that this is a Crunchyroll exclusive. Um, mm -hmm. So, and it's good. So that's like <laughs> the thing. Like I'm wondering yeah. if that's going to start like a trend. Um, of exclusivity I mean, for anime? Easy. Yeah. Uh, for different things like all the all the streaming services which as long as i can still steal them on the internet i don't care um but it's just interesting because it's it's an actual like it's a good anime like a lot it wouldn't be surprising if like they were like hey our first exclusive anime is like trash like that wouldn't have surprised me at all but this one's really high quality and really good so yep yep Bang. all right cool on to the next we got a uh, brand new animal bna for short uh, this one I was a little excited for, but not. I didn't know what to expect. I really liked it. I know Brandon and Rob, you guys are really excited for it. I actually I was, was not excited for it. Oh. I do like Trigger. Okay. Um, right. I wasn't excited for the plot because I had just watched Beastars. And okay, you did say that, yeah. And I had seen Zootopia a couple of years ago, so I wasn't excited for this at all because that's what it is. Plot twist, um, yeah. It is a little zootopia -esque. But... Uh, I I do like Trigger, so I always give Trigger a chance. They're a great studio, uh, and they did let me down. This is some of their best work, I might say. I'm still not. I still don't give a shit about the plot, um, but it's just done really well. Like it's done well enough that despite the fact that I don't give a fuck about the plot at all, I'm gonna keep watching it because it's just done really well. The animation is great. Uh, the color scheme is top tier. Um. I, I have no real complaints other than I, I don't care about what they're doing plot-wise. But other than that, like the, I have no complaints about anything that they have going on whatsoever. I'm with it. I feel like just occasionally there are shows that you just watch for the visuals. Yeah. Regardless of like, how yeah. it's going well, yeah, I, sometimes. aside from the story, which is very cookie cutter right now, it's just really well animated. And if you guys don't know, six episodes are already out there in the ether. This is a Netflix exclusive, quote unquote. It's not in the North American region of Netflix. I don't have a VPN, so I can't look yeah. and find it. But if you go to any anime website, you can just stream it. 
the first six episodes. If not, the next the first episode did it's come out just the other that day. It's only at six. Yeah, I, don't know. I think that was like the okay, preview for a leak. Yeah, it was like a preview. I don't think it was a leak. I think it was a preview. Like I think yeah, they just put six a, out right away. It was probably a preview. It's it's just weird because usually Netflix, like when they have their anime series, they usually do the full twelve, and no one knows about it if you're yeah. an American. And then it just happens, and you're like, oh, okay, well my day's done. So, um, but it is really good. I think B Stars is plot wise better. Um, it's like it's a little bit deeper uh, the content of it. Um, but I. I, you know, like the animation is just so good. Yeah. That I, yeah, I gotta watch it. It's, just, it's awesome. Cool. All right, brand new animal. Tune in, love it, like it. It's the bomb. Don't miss out. Uh, next is Glyphner. Um, this is probably the one that I was most excited about before the season popped off. Uh, watch the first episode. That's all it's out so far. It's really good. Uh, unique. It's definitely unique. I, I, I haven't seen one that's. It has aspects of an anime that you're like, okay, this has been done. But then it, they also threw our little twists on it here and there. It makes it a little bit different. Um, yeah. I really I like... I don't know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the first episode was definitely uh, cloak and dagger-y. Like, it was, you, didn't, you don't know a lot of the plot yet. Uh, there was a little yeah. things that were a little dark, a little dank. There was um, yeah. some John Wick <laughs> stuff going on. Yeah, it was a little weird, um, but it was still it was well animated. The fight scenes that they had were Very done well. well. Frame rate was really good. Like there was a couple scenes when yeah. they moved quickly and it wasn't janky or anything like that. Um, and the main uh, female character that the, the, that we think I think is the main female character uh, definitely was a little bit different than I thought to expect. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was going to be more of the like the damsel in distress type thing but yeah like, they, i actually did twist it seem very... yeah i didn't know she what to expect pretty independent in the in the trailer so i kind of I, I don't know anytime you see an anime chick give like an evil look you can pretty much assume <laughs> she's gonna take care of shit they just herself. they do they do a glare <laughs> they yeah just that little you know with sharp teeth uh grin on the you know one side of their face that's usually how they're, they're gonna be badass um yeah. no i re i really liked it um you know, I, it's it's going to come down to plot whether or not this is one of the greats. Yeah. Um, but it definitely for a first episode, easy top five uh, for this 100%. season. So we will see. Yep. And then we're not going over too much plot stuff right now. We don't want to do spoilers. Just basically just watch the first episode. Like, you know what I mean? These are animes that just dropped. Don't, we don't want to spoil anything or even tell you the plot because it's, it's available now. You can just watch it. Um, but, yeah. So next we do have uh, listeners. Um this one I was a little less excited for when it came out, just mainly because in the trailer, some of the uh, mech-type things that are in it are CG and not as... They looked kind of corny in the trailer when we talked about it last week or two weeks ago, whatever mm -hmm. that was. Um, my opinion's a little bit changed because the uh, aside from the mech-like characters, the animation's amazing. The, the, draw, the drawings, it's so good. The animation um, is good. But when the mechs do show up in the first episode, uh, they look pretty good. Not pr They look better than i thought right yeah they're not bad yeah they, mm. they just made they made weird choices when it came to the cg versus uh -huh. hand drawn like yeah it's like when done, to do it. it's done well it's done so little that it's like why did you at yeah. all like i don't i don't know it, it would, like it would have to be i think like we'll see like the next big fight will be like my decider and whether or not I stick with it and I yeah. can actually bear the the CG because the monsters weren't CG the monsters no. like, and I felt like they were more yeah. complex they looked really good <laughs> yeah so I uh, well I think they I've seen the second episode by now and I don't I don't like those monsters um mm. and I won't go into any detail not that there is a spoiler in this but like uh, I don't. I don't know if outside of a video game, if a blobby type monster has ever worked in anything. Like and, and anime is better show. than anything, but not usually. Um, I mean, like I think video games can get away with blobby things because you're still interacting with the game. Yeah. But I feel like it's just such a shitty design choice to make a blobby villain because it's like, no, you didn't try. Like anybody can draw a cloud of smoke. Um, with a helmet that, on. With a helmet on. 
That being said, uh, the series isn't what I thought it was going to be. I, I really thought it was going to be more music based. And yeah. there's some moments here and there where like background music is very like fully coolie esque. Um, but it's, okay. it's not a very musical anime. So, uh, as far as the two first know. two episodes are as concerned, as far as the first episodes, but you'd think they'd get into it a little bit by this point. Yeah. So the, um, that one does have two episodes. They just their second episode just came out yesterday, so you can watch that. And I did real quick. I want to backtrack. Uh, Glyphner does this first episode's already out. The second episode comes out tomorrow. So <laughs> if anyone wants to watch, I just wanted to throw that in there. But continue, Rob, with what you were saying. Oh, uh, that was pretty much it. Yeah, wow. I just thought it was going to be when from the description of the synopsis, I thought it was going to be more music yeah. based, and it's um, it has a lot of uh, like I don't know music puns, like the way that they name certain things. Yeah, they it's not they didn't explain it's that. It's about yet, as musical we'll as fucking Mega Man. <laughs> it's like rock and roll and bass and shit like that. Like things are named a certain way, but it's yeah, it's not very musical. The, the hand-drawn style is enough to draw me in and make me want to at least try to like it. Um, right now, I'm definitely on the fence. Like, I really like it, but it could do that one weird thing to make me just be like, ah, oh, fuck, I don't want to watch this anymore. So we'll see. It's still definitely on the top watch list this year, but it's definitely more for now. teeter-tottery. But definitely watch the first two episodes. Judge it for yourself. I think the last one that we're going to go over actually has, for me at least, it has a really large potential to, like, yes. climb. If you, so than think, others. if you watched... This is going to beat listeners out. So. If you watched our uh, anime episode last week, uh, somebody <laughs> put that in there as their dark horse. <laughs> it was this guy. Uh, two yes. of us did. Yeah, yeah, but I did it first, so you just you hopped oh, on the bandwagon. Uh, this one, we're going to give it the English translation, uh, Funds Unlimited, Correct. Is that's what I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure it is. It's like yeah, I believe that's what they're gonna go. Out yeah, if they've finalized it. This one just came out like two days ago, um, so the first episode is all you got. Uh, but it's really intriguing. It's very mm -hmm. cookie cutter esque, where it's just like a crime anime, um, <laughs> which isn't but bad. which isn't bad. It's just done. The first episode was really good. It, it hit. It had action. It was funny. It was yeah, kind of quirky. A lot of really funny parts. Yeah, it was just good. A lot of really funny parts. And you don't get too many. I'd like it to be slightly funny, you... like for the plot. Like the I was... plot is, I'd, I'd like it to be yeah. like a little bit funny. Most good. Oh, it's got that like dry. It's got like that awkward dry humor. Yeah. I, where, like, I think it where, has like the person you want to be... hate, the person yeah. you want to hate is funny just because of how much you hate him. <laughs> right. I, yeah. Yeah. I I'd like it to be like situationally more funny or like dialogue more funny i don't know that i feel like it's on on the comedic level i feel like it's missing just a little something not a lot yeah um because i mean it could easily be top tier comedy with like just going off of what the plot is mm -hmm. i could like so many situations can come out of that to be really good um super well animated um I'm I'm very interested to see where this goes. It could end up being I'm worried whether or not it's going to have like a consistent plot or if it's going to be like an episode by episode. I basis. think it's going to be an episode by episode basis maybe. Um yeah, I think it's case interesting case. because most crime animes are either way too funny and not serious at all or way too not way too but darker. Like a psychopath, yes, where you're like, yeah. this is hitting me hard here. This one looks like it's going to be a nice little 20 minutes you're eating a sandwich, you're chilling, watching, laughing, having a good time. And it's just really well done. And they only they did CG the cars, but I didn't mind because it wasn't really bad. So I was like, whatever. I didn't even really notice it. I'll let it slide. Like as bad. Yeah, like, they did it well. They did a, they well they did a lot of like wide shots with the CG. Yeah, it was good camera the, work. Yeah, the, yeah. The the close ups and mid shots were all hand drawn. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All the characters were really well done. Like facial wise, I I, I liked it. I, facial wise, design wise, was everything was really good. Um, yeah, I'm really, uh, I'm really interested to see where, where this one goes. It's definitely um, the dark horse. I think it's gonna really be good. I hope it looks it's so far. It's gonna come down for me, like, to whether or not it hits like the caliber of uh, Copcraft, which is sort of similar in tone. Yeah. Um, at least judging from just the first episode of this, because obviously right. we haven't. I've, I've watched all of Copcraft. I this has one episode, so. Um, but I mean, like they're both kind of detective action comedies. Yeah. Like buddy, buddy comedies. Right. Um, so I, it, it's going to come down. That's the last like buddy cop 
uh, anime that I remember, uh, or the most recent that like I really liked a lot. So it's going to come down to if it hits that caliber, like how the story continues. Um, but for right now, like it was a good first episode, showed a whole lot of potential. Uh, so yeah, I like it. it. We'll see. It was definitely the mm-hmm. best um, feel free anime. Like again, like you don't have to s- super like go in and pay attention. It's just a good twenty minutes. You're laughing. It's really enjoyable. Like Glyphner, I was like paying attention to, like, oh wow, oh, oh shit, okay. But this one, I was kind of just laughing, loving. So yeah, definitely like it. Watch it. Um, and that's all. These are definitely the top five. Like you must watch. Really good animes. We're probably gonna do another video um, of like hidden gem animes this season that are like not in the top, but still worth watching. Um, mm-hmm. Let us know if you guys want a video some like that. Yeah, some underdog stuff like that. Um, but that's all we really got for today. Anybody want to add anything? No, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Put in the comments anything you want to see or hear us talk about. Uh, if you want more news, if you want more like hardcore, more in-depth reviews, anything like that. We're just trying to be real broad uh, and stuff like that, and not get too into it uh, for spoiler reasons and stuff. But yeah, let us know. Yeah, but if you, if you guys want a spoiler video, we'll do a spoiler. We'll spoil video. the shit out of you. Hell yeah, I'm good at that. <laughs> cool. Like watch. Yeah, cool. Thanks for watching. Cool. Insert anime. Later. <laughs>